Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about my hockey and love series featuring the game changer, body check and au pair affair. Boy, what did I get myself into reading these romance books? When I think of romance books, I think, I think of those like covers where you have like shirtless men or like they have like women in distress on the covers. And so when I saw these like cartoonish covers, I thought, what could this be about? Part of like the fun thing about reading to me is like whatever cover I'm drawn to. And then sometimes um, when I pick those books based on the covers, sometimes I don't really read what it's about. And so like, it's definitely a surprise uh, waiting for me once I start reading it. So here's a little bit about the book. So The Game Changer, uh, reading the insert here, um, is a hockey player and a baker shoot their shot in this steamy new romance. Um, so I'm going to use the same sentence structure and formatting for the next uh, two books here. So Body Check is a hockey player and a professor. Will their love stay in the city then? And then for Au Pair Affair, you have a hockey player and a marine biologist. Is he a goon on and off the barn? For all of you hockey players, I hope you appreciate the hockey terminology and slang. So, The Game Changer. What I liked about it. I love the title because it's a play on words. And I also like that the book really emphasizes um, the importance of giving back to the community and volunteering. So I love that message about this book. What I didn't like about this book, unfortunately, um, Ian, the love interest of the the story here although he's a very like nice guy sensitive unfortunately you know he's just not my type of guy i would go for um and so i didn't really um like him as like the love interest um for the character here um other things i didn't like um the main character calls um ian cupcake and i feel like um nicknames for your significant other should kind of like stay in private she kind of calls him cupcakes in front of everyone and i feel like that's a little bit embarrassing and maybe i'm just projecting myself onto these characters here but i just feel like again nicknames should be kind of private and intimate you know so i didn't like that she, she was calling him that all the time um call me a square call me an l7 whatever um i am just really not a fan of too much smut and so obviously with romance books this is what you're gonna get a lot of very detailed graphic um descriptions of their love making another thing i'm not really a fan of is with this book there's not too much hockey drama um and so that was kind of disappointing because that was the whole purpose right of like reading these books you want a, a good balance of like reading about the romance, but also about um, some hockey drama. So I didn't feel like there was a lot of hockey drama in The Game Changer. I also am not a fan of too much cussing. And so um, the way there's just so much F-bombs in this book. And so I'm, again, not a fan, call me a square, whatever. Um, and then there's also like when the romance scenes it was kind of like anticlimactic, you know, they are like far apart from each other. And so like when they finally meet, it's just like, that's it. That's how I felt. And so I didn't feel like their romance was anything um, climatic. Also, I felt like the story was very surface level um, and really all about like intercourse and um this hot guy you know like she she wants to like um get this hot guy or when i mean she delilah who is the the character in this book so what um dislikes there so the next book is body check what i liked about it love the title as well love that it's a play on words um again not a fan of the smut in this book but it's a romance book so what do you expect i do like the dialogue in this book a little bit better um 
just felt like it was more deep conversations and a little bit more um, backstory to the characters. I love that the love interest, um, Cody, he's very confident, um, flirty, but it's a very fine line, right, between being confident and like being too conceited. So I don't think he was like that at all. He was very respectful to her, but he was just very sure of himself that he was gonna get the girl. So I kind of like like that confidence about him. You have Hayden here. Um, she is the main character of Body Check here. And so she also like talks about um, money problems. And I wanna share a quote that she talks about where, um, they say, you know, money and power aren't bad things to want. Sure, but what about family? Who are you supposed to rely on when the money and power are gone? Who will be there to love you? And then I wanted to share another quote that's like not inside the book, but kind of like rel related to that, where it says, you're on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And so um, I love that as a reminder, right? And we have to prior money is here for us to have fun and spend but we also have to realize what else is important in our heart um, and that we don't focus a lot on that aspect of life um sorry i keep looking down here because i have a lot to talk about with this book here um i love that there's a lot of uh, hockey drama in this book it's a good balance between that personal drama and hockey drama so love the balance there and then um, I also love the banter between um, Hayden and Brody. And it just felt really natural, um, very um, cute in a way. Uh, some dislikes uh, about this book here. This book also drops a lot of F-bombs. Is this like normal for romance books to drop a lot of F-bombs? So that's a, that's a con right there for me. And of course, just all the uh, graphic scenes in the book. Um, au pair affair. So, um, this one, um, is the marine biologist and she actually is a nanny for, um, one of the hockey players. And I thought that was like a very interesting story and if that's a common thing. Um, but anyways, so this book, great balance between hockey drama and personal drama. And I thought that this book did a great job of really detailing the characters lives and backstory i felt more invested with the characters in this book and also i felt like the um surrounding cast members or like their friends really add to the story and not just like egging um the main character and their love interest to like get together right there was just more depth to the character more depth to the story um with this book which i love um i like the conversations it was very uh, mature this relationship took time to develop there was a lot of ups and downs so again love the flow of this relationship um, and the reflections that the characters do in this book um, there's a quote I love that one of the characters says here um, her name is Chloe and she knows um, some of the hockey players and so she says eat trash while you talk trash so this is um, a quote uh, concerning when, not concerning, but like when um, she was walk, watching the hockey game live. So she's eating like, you know, fried food, drinking beer, and like, you know, just talking trash on the sports team. So I love that, uh, that quote from her. Um, there was also another scene that I love in this book um, because she's a marine biologist. Um, one of the players, um, reserved a whole like aquarium for her and this scene also reminded me of the scene in queen of tears so that i thought that was like a very romantic and thoughtful gesture and again um just love the progression of their relationship and um just the respect that they have for each other so love that cons like i'm gonna say like the other two books you know there's some smut in this book um but didn't feel as much there's also some f-bombs that were dropped in this book too but again didn't feel as much as like the uh, 
first two books that I told you about. Um, favorite character. I don't really have a favorite character, um, but if I did have to like choose one, I would say um, it would be the main character in O Pair Affair, um, or her name is Tallulah, and so the main biologist. She just is very respectful, a smart person. Again, all the characters, I'm sorry, I have to say, all the women characters are very smart, powerful, boss lady. But again, if I had to choose Tallulah, it would be my person. And she has like a gentle, soft heart as well. So Tallulah would be my favorite character if I had to choose one. All right. So, um... I mean, if you like romance books and you're like a hockey fan, maybe these books are for you. I would go ahead and rate these books. So, um, Au Pair Affair would be my first choice, um, and I would rate it a three. Then it would be Body Check, also a three, and then The Game Changer comes in at a two. So those are my ratings for those books that I had to uh, choose from the following. Um, would I then continue venturing into this like hockey romance or any other type of like romance books? Maybe. I don't know. Again, um, I guess it just depends on how I feel, you know. I feel like I started this series and I feel like maybe I should just do another one. Maybe there's like other authors that I might like better that do the hockey and romance genre better. So I'll keep looking, but at the same time, you know. I would also say, you know, if you're a type of person that maybe uh, is not comfortable, you know, reading romance or you feel like it's not appropriate, then definitely you know, do not force yourself to read these books or feel pressured to read these type of books. Um, all right, so like always, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like these books? Did you like these books? Who's your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.